Hello everyone. Welcome to Selling Odds and By the Pound. And this is uh, for test pressings this week. And there's some really varied stuff here that is amazingly cool. First are these two 10-inch um, records. They are uh, George Inesco records. Uh, I write ridiculously rare Romanian pressing, recording and pressing of Inesco, performed by George Inesco uh, and the Philharmonic. Um, this 10 inch tricker plays near mint and includes the original stitched jacket in very nice condition. You'll never find another copy, a finer copy, and I agree with that. These are incredibly rare records. Um, I've had them for many, many years, and somebody's going to get really lucky with that. Here is another one of those Ducrete Thompsons that I've told you about. Beautiful and rare copy that may have been played only once or twice. Gorgeous sound quality. Excellent pressing with quiet surfaces, 190, 190 gram presses. I mean, these things are just, and they're in the, the original sleeves made in England. It's got a nice booklet in there. This is a beautiful set. Looks, it's hard for me to imagine that that's a 70 year old record. Here's John Ogden. This is an EMI box set um, playing uh, Busoni piano concerto. Very natural sounding with very rich textures and dynamics. Ogden's piano is perfectly mic'd and the performance is jaw-dropping in its intensity. Rarely do you hear a piano recording so recorded so well and placed in the proper perspective with the orchestra. The EMI recording team got it on tape, beautiful in every way and very quiet pressing to boot. Yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, ASD 2336 and 7 or SLS 776. Here, I think, is the last copy of the Rishpiki the Birds, RFR1, RFR1, radio station copy, plays VG++ in, in spite of paper scuffs, so which uh, on the surface of the LP, fine copy, HP, TAS, super disc list item, I put big sound, original uh, inner sleeve as well. Some EMI, and EMI, this is part of that Rachmaninoff series. This is the Rock First with Previn and LSO. Bishop and Parker production slash recording for EMI with uh, Previn, LSO giving rousing performance of the Rock First Symphony. Great sound with big dynamics, nice copy with quiet surfaces. Top recommendation, ASD 3137. Here's the rarity. You don't see, you don't hardly ever see. This is a Musical Heritage Society pressing, very nice pressing of Roman Tottenberg on violin doing Brock, uh, sorry, huh, Bach, six sonatas and partitas for violin. So it's solo violin, very rare set in extremely good condition. This is one, by the way, from this Roz Ruby collection that I bought years ago to, um, uh, what's her name? Lori? No. Goodness, I've forgotten what her name is. And Victor, who uh, uh, Tottenberg signed this copy uh, on the inside. It says, uh, for remembrance of lovely times, uh, all hoped and then all packed and then back home. Fondly, Roman Tottenberg. So, real rarity. Here's another uh, Previn LSO, Rachmaninoff, Isle of the Dead, another Bishop and Parker uh, production slash recording of Previn. Uh, fantastic dynamics with audiophile qualities. Nice copy, top recommendations. Says some random surface noise plays VG, VG plus, big sound. Um, here is, uh, goodness, this is an interesting record. Um, Hardy Bridge Backs Con productions uh, or compositions. Beautiful recording of compositions by various English composers. Sound is lush and very realistic. Soundstage makes you feel like you are at the recording. Highest recommendation. I put quiet surfaces here. This is, um, yeah, this is one of those CSD 3696. Beautiful copy. London Blueback FFSS Deep Groove copy, blue back of Argenta doing three-cornered hat. This is an incredible rarity and looks to be in absolutely stunning condition in every aspect. Here is Ricci doing Mendelssohn and Bruck violin concertos. Uh, Piero, uh, Peru, Peruino Gamba, sorry, conducting 
the LSO. Another London Blueback, um, very rare, nice copy. Here's Ricci doing Paganini Caprices. This is a record you don't see very often. Um, again, London Blueback, deep groove pressing, beautiful condition. Now, the fun begins. So I went through, behind me, you probably see my collection of classic records, many of which there were duplicates, right? And so I've gone through and I've kind of called that down even more. So some nice things, Kenny Burrell, Midnight Blue, um, number two of five, this is from my archive. We got Soul Station with Hank Mobley, 4031, I think that's mono. Um, that's probably, but a sealed copy. Uh, looks like an RTI pressing, 200 gram RTI pressing, okay? Here we got uh, Blue Note 1559, uh, Johnny Griffin, um, beautiful copy, another RTI pressing, 200 gram. Six pieces of silver, Horace Silver, 1539, beautiful copy, another RTI original pressing. And here we've got, this is pressed by Classic when we had the pressing plant. It says pressed by Classic. This is rare. This is a number two of five. This is Horace Silver Quintet Horoscope. Clever name, right? Here are a couple fun, here's a fun record. Ray, uh, this is Big Star, a record called Radio City. We cut from the original tapes. This, I think, is a 150 gram copy, and it's number two of five from my archives, so... Um, the Venerable Nora Jones. I love doing these records. This is number two of five, Not Too Late. Beautiful, beautiful copy, sealed. And then a couple more things, a couple of Neil Young records. These are going to go for big money. This is the collaboration we did with Neil Young. Um, and this is the Live at the Fillmore, 200 gram pressing. And this is Massey Hall. This is uh, 200 gram pressing as well. And then the big boy, ah, one of the Royal Ballet Gala. This is one of the original sets that uh, has gold oil on it and so forth. Uh, this is the 45 RPM box set. Um, God, I don't know, this has gotta be 20 plus years old, but perfect, absolutely stunning. Incredible collector's item. So there you go. There's a few other items that I haven't mentioned, so take a look, and as always, good luck.